This is nice lighting, but what happens when I add the spotlight in? Now it feels like there's actually sunlight coming in through the window because I see that hot spot, and I learned it from watching a DP named Tim Craig. So whenever I see this spotlight, I think Tim Craig. I know he didn't invent it. I know it's spotlights have been around for a long time. People have been shaping and using spotlights for effects and videos for a long time. But Tim Craig is the first DP that I've seen when I was watching um, his Netflix series, Fear City, talking about the mob in New York City. It was like a four part series. And all of his interviews were lit so real. They looked so natural. I wasn't thinking about the lighting when I, when I was watching it. I was just like, wow, that just looks like real sunlight. And you know, that's a real hats off, I think, to a DP when you can really make it look like sunlight and not like it's lit. And that's what we're all trying to get away from is these lit interviews, the softbox, blah, blah, blah. You know, the light's too hard, the Rembrandt lighting. You gotta do what looks good to you. And the only way to do that is you have to start paying attention that's what I've been doing, paying attention to natural sunlight coming in through my house at different times of the day, and then trying to emulate that with artificial light. And Tim Craig has been a huge help for me, just watching his work, seeing and imagining how he's shaping the natural light, shaping the artificial light to make it look realistic and not lit. And there's just something so exciting about that to me. And I've been obsessed with it. I would encourage you guys to go check out Tim Craig's work. I think he is, I know he's super popular in the film industry, but I don't know if a lot of people actually know about him like they know about Roger Deakins and other famous cinematographers like that. Tim Craig, I think is really under the radar and check him out on Instagram. He's got a YouTube channel. He doesn't post that much on YouTube, but I think he should. Tim Craig, if you're out there, I think you should post way more on YouTube. I think you have a lot you could share uh, with the style of the work uh, that you do with your lighting. What really attracted me about Tim Craig's cinematography is just the realism, the, how realistic it looks. It looks like he's using just sunlight most of the time and it's soft but it's hard and it's not predictable and it's it's unique and when i see his shots i think tim craig i know he based on what i follow on his instagram i know he takes a lot of uh photos he uses real film film cameras and takes a lot of stills i think most cinematographers are students of light and darkness and when we see something whether it's at night lit by a street lamp we go oh that's interesting and how could i do that um for a film or if we see the early morning sunrise and you know i would love to film that in a documentary or when we see someone sitting in their kitchen just sitting on a chair staring out a window and they're they're lit with kind of like this hard sunlight and the rest of the room has this kind of shadow to it and we think wow that would be great for an interview i think we have to be students of light and darkness we have to study it constantly and when i watch tim craig's work i see someone who is very excited about the work that he is doing and um it's been very inspiring to me. Study light and uh, try to make things realistic, try to give things motivation, not just throw up a light and say, that looks nice, because I don't think what, that's what cinematography is about. It's not about, wow, that's a great shot. I think Roger Deakins talks about this. He says, you fail as a DP when people go, wow, that's a nice shot. You want people to be lost in the story and you want people to forget about the light. So the more realistic, the more natural the light looks depending on the film you know mainly i work in documentaries so documentary is real we want things to be realistic as much as possible i'm always trying to get the light to look as real as possible and motivate that light give it give the light a reason to be there thanks tim craig keep on hustling out there keep on inspiring us and we'll see you guys in the next video